Hi there, Doug Stewart with IT Creations with Dell's answer to the most powerful workstation in the world, the Precision 7920 Tower Workstation. This platform is highly scalable and offers almost eight times more memory at three terabytes than Dell's next most powerful workstation, the 7820. In that respect, it is similar to how HP has structured their two top-of-the-line Z-series workstations, the Z8 and Z6G4 platforms. And a spoiler alert, the next one down, the Precision 5820, also very similar to HP's Z4G4. Although one of the more interesting features on Dell's Precision workstations is support for M.2 and U.2 drives in hot-swap front-mounted drive carriers. Let's take a look. Like I said when reviewing HP's ZAG4 workstation several months back, there are two contenders for the title of the world's most powerful workstation, HP's ZAG4 and Dell's Precision 7920 Tower workstation. No, this is not a cliffhanger. They're both ridiculously equipped to handle an obscene amount of memory and storage supported by dual Intel Xeon scalable processors. And again, I will reiterate the fact that most people, even those who do need a workstation, will probably not need one of these top of the line behemoths. Still, how could you not want one of these? I mean, come on. Which one is the most powerful workstation in the world? That's hard to answer. They both support top of the line Intel Xeon scalable processors, three terabytes of memory, and up to 48 terabytes of storage. Since they do offer similar performance, the deciding factor when purchasing one of these systems is really pretty subjective. If you like Dell products, then you'll most likely opt for the Precision 7920, and vice versa for the HP Z8 G4. Are you thinking about purchasing Dell's Precision 7920 Tower Workstation? Because for a limited time, IT Creations is offering a $250 discount on a system listed at $2,500 or more. Click that link to see pricing, and when you're ready to make a purchase, just give us a call and mention this video. We also have all the parts and components to outfit your system, including top-of-the-line GPUs from NVIDIA and AMD. Oh, and those cool little hot swap M.2 trays for Dell's Precision workstations. If you haven't checked out IT Creations, you really should. Just to let you know, we've already done the other three Dell Precision workstations, including the single socket 5820, the dual socket 7820, and Dell's 7920 rack workstation. The 7920 rack workstation has almost the same features as the tower, but is designed to be used by multiple users. The rack workstation also offers greater security and can be managed by an IT administrator, just like the rest of your server equipment. The tower is for a single user, not to say that it can't be used to support several zero clients or remote workstations if you were to rack mount the chassis and add a fast network card. Surprisingly, the tower actually supports a little more storage than the rack version. The case has been subtly redesigned. It still sports a diamond pattern on the front, but offers significantly more air circulation with perforations all over the front and back of the chassis. The power supply and hard drives are also separated from the motherboard, CPU, and memory sections for improved heat distribution. A control panel board runs down the center of the front of the chassis with an on-off button, SD card reader, two USB 3.0 Type-A ports, two USB Type-C ports, a combo mic headphone jack, and a slimline optical device. The diamond pattern panel to the right can be removed by pressing down on the small slider lock on the side of the control strip. That slider can also be disabled with a lock inside the chassis. Hiding underneath that panel are two flex bays supporting up to four 3.5-inch drives or four 2.5-inch drives, or a combination of the two. The system is compatible with SATA natively and has eight SATA ports on the system board. Additional internal storage is provided in the rear section, just below the PSU, which can be outfitted with a flex bay module to install four more 2.5-inch or 3.5-inch SAS, SATA HDD, or SSD storage devices. The rear storage module is almost identical to the front SSD module bay kit, but includes cabling for the LSI controller. There's also another kit for installing just SATA drives that can be cabled to the motherboard connections. The front 5.25 inch media bay can also be outfitted with an audio board add-on, a security card reader, which I talked about in the Dell 7820 video, or several other options like Thunderbolt or additional storage. The Dell digital audio interface option allows you to connect a wide range of professional audio recording equipment for vastly improved sound quality over a standard sound card and would be a great addition. Regarding storage, there are a few caveats. To get all 10 storage devices, you will need the MegaRaid 9460-16i, which supports up to 16 SAS, SATA HDDs, or SSDs. If you use the MegaRaid 9460-8i, you can only support eight drives, and Dell recommends no rear storage, and FlexBase 1 and 2 should already be converted to support PCI SSDs. And that's where we get 10 storage devices, four in front, four in the back, and two more in the media bay. The real beauty of this system is the ability to install a maximum of four M.2 or U.2 NVMe drives in the front drive bays. The standard hot swap tray is replaced with an optional HD tray that can only be used with an M.2 storage device. The M.2 hot swap drive carrier has a small caddy that pops out with the push of a finger and supports a single M.2 drive. You can install 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, or one terabyte M.2 drives in these caddies, which can then be rated together for super fast storage or for a redundant boot drive. 
Up to four U.2 PCI drives previously reserved for enterprise applications can also be mounted in hot swap front drive carriers. The U.2 interface is different than the SATA interface, which connects directly to the PCI lanes using a special double-decker connection. Essentially, it's an expansion of the SATA Express interface, but uses four PCI lanes for a throughput of four gigabits per second. It looks very similar to a SAS connector with more pins. The drives themselves are standard size 2.5 inch drives, but represents the fastest 2.5 inch storage device currently available to consumers, depending on what you get. SATA drive support is handled natively using Intel's Rapid Storage Technology Enterprise with Intel's Virtual RAID on CPU, or VROC. VROC provides an enterprise-grade software RAID solution for NVMe drives without the use of a host bus adapter. That right there can save you several hundreds of dollars. Although, you will need the motherboard activation key, which caps a few terminals on the motherboard, and the PCIe SSD backplane. With a single processor, you can load two M.2 drives in the front storage bays. With dual processors, you can install a maximum of four M.2 drives, but that's only on the front of the system. Eight more M.2 drives can be installed using two PCIe slots, each outfitted with a dual ultra-speed drive Quadro by 16 card, one of which can be rated. If you want to access your work remotely or want to set up a remote workstation with multiple monitors, Teradici PC over IP remote workstation solution is well suited to the task. It delivers a secure connection to your remote access point at high resolution over standard IP networks by delivering only encrypted pixels that are rendered by the host, which in this case would be your 7920 tower back at your office or ideally at your home, if you know what I mean. Data or intellectual property is still housed and processed in your securely stored workstation. Teradici uses advanced display compression for remote viewing of accurate colors in 3D, 2D, and video using a compatible PC, smartphone, or tablet. There are also several management features and, of course, Dell's Precision Optimizer to enhance performance on a range of ISV-certified applications. Intel Xeon Scalable processors feature six memory channels. Each processor supports 12 DIMM slots with two modules per channel and 24 DIMM slots total with a dual processor configuration. The 7920 Tower workstation will support up to 1.5 terabytes of either registered or load-reduced DDR4 DIMM modules operating up to 2666 megahertz with dual processors and 64 gigabyte memory modules in all 24 slots. That would be using one of the scalable processors without the M. If you want the full three terabytes of memory, then you will need to purchase a processor with the M designation, as each will support up to 1.5 terabytes of memory. You'll also need to outfit all 24 slots with 128 gigabyte memory modules. Those two will run at up to 2666 megahertz with the appropriate processor. Without the M, they will only support 768 gigabytes each. That max speed is also dependent on the memory module and CPU. The Xeon scalable processors also support up to 48 PCI 3.0 lanes per CPU for 96 PCI lanes with dual processors. This enables much more functionality with support for up to four Gen 3 graphics cards or three double wide graphics cards at 250 watts each or two 375 watt cards. Although if you max out on the GPUs with 750 watts of graphic card goodness, then Dell recommends connecting the system's 1400 watt PSU to a 220 volt AC power supply instead of the 120 volt standard. The graphics cards are placed with two on the lower portion of the chassis with one at the top. By the way, you will need at least one GPU because the system does not support video natively, but it does have an integrated Realtek audio. With each GPU supporting up to four monitors, you can attach from one to 16 monitors with varying resolutions supported. The Dell Precision 7920 Tower workstation is very well designed, and it's a good thing it has handles because even partially outfitted, it's quite heavy. The system is a monster, even when compared to the next one down, the 7820, which may support the same processors, but definitely doesn't compete in regards to memory, storage, and support for GPUs. If you need the power, the 7920 definitely delivers, but if you don't need that much, check out our other reviews of Dell's other Precision workstations or our reviews of HP Z-Series workstations. If you have any questions on this platform or any other, just post them in the comments section below. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.